All right then, company news. Let's start in Namibia with Rossing Uranium. It's a Rio Tinto business. It said it has managed to navigate what it described as the worst year of the past decade for the uranium industry. It has turned a 2015 loss into a net profit of $8.2 million last year. The company said a combination of favorable exchange rates and a 48% increase in production had both combined to help counter the effects of depressed uranium spot prices. Also in East Africa, the Kenyan Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, or CALDRO, as it's more commonly known, has unveiled a raft of new drought-resistant, high-yielding, nutritious crop varieties and tech. That includes micronutrient-rich beans and early maturing green grabs. These were unveiled earlier on Tuesday, with the organization also providing a kit that has proved to be effective in the diagnosis of mastitis in cattle and camels as well. Elsewhere, Coca-Cola will be stepping up its bid to transform into a far leaner operation under its incoming CEO, James Quincy. Now, the soda giant is about to cut costs by an extra $800 million a year, adding to a plan to wring out $3 billion worth of savings. The decline in soda volumes and currency fluctuations has also continued to weigh rather heavily on sales. And finally, a full merger of the Japanese car makers, Mitsubishi and Nissan, is not on the cards. That's according to Carlos Ghosn, he's the chairman of both companies. Last year, Nissan bought a controlling stake of Mitsubishi for $2.3 billion after the smaller automaker admitted to having cheated on emissions tests. Mitsubishi and Nissan were studying joint production of joint pickup trucks in Southeast Asia. They're looking for savings within the broader Renault-Nissan alliance. That's a wrap of your company news.